Dr. Nazi, can you tell us something about how CAG started, about the origins of CAG? Well, it started uh, in 2003 uh, with the idea to, uh, to alleviate uh, the burden from uh, genetic disorders impacting many Arab populations. And especially in the United Arab Emirates, there is a special care and importance for genetic uh, disorders here, starting with awareness campaigns that were launched around thalassemia, blood disorders, and so on. Uh, so a decree was issued by His Highness Sheikh Hamdan to establish the, uh, the center in uh, June 2003, almost nine years back. And uh, the center started its activities with the establishment of a database that is to uh, collect all information regarding uh, genetic disorders, not only in the United Arab Emirates, but in all other uh, Arab countries as well. And uh, where does the database stand uh, now? Uh, the uh, work around the database is uh, a never-ending story. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's an effort that started in year 2004. The database was online launched in November in that year, 2004. Um, there is a strategy that we followed in uh, building the data in the database. It's, it's, as you know, it's a continuous effort. And we have to have some uh, uh, landmarks in order to uh, assess the progress of the database and make sure that it's uh, up to date uh, with all the information required. So we worked on a uh, country by country mode uh, plan to uh, conduct surveys uh, in which we uh, try to collect all the literature related to genetic disorders, whether published in international or regional or national peer-reviewed medical journals. And accordingly, we, uh, we completed the phase for the United Arab Emirates in the uh, year 2005, followed by Bahrain in 2006. Then we uh, did Oman in 2008, Qatar in 2010, and currently we are doing Kuwait, which we hope we uh, will try to end by end of 2012 or sometime in 2013. And in this way, we would uh, have completed a complete um, uh, coverage of the whole eastern uh, shores of the Arabian Peninsula, which is a geographical area of importance, uh, lots of history, lots of population mixing, and many genetic disorders available. Uh, definitely, um, information from other countries are being also updated, but not at the same rate. We receive lots of data from Saudi Arabia, Tunisia, Egypt, Lebanon, Iraq. We can name so many countries that are contributing to it. And we hope that with time, more and more coverage is achieved. And in this way, the database will serve its purposes, which are basically uh, helping uh, medical doctors to take uh, proper decisions in uh, their cases, and also helping researchers locate information that is sometimes hard to get related to genetic disorders, especially that the bulk of information that we uh, usually accumulate in the database comes from uh, regional non-indexed journals and they are very, very hard to find over the internet or using conventional means. So apart from the database, are there any other projects that CAGS is involved in? Uh, yes, definitely. Uh, CAGS gives importance to research at the same time. Uh, since the uh, birth of CAGS, in fact, the ideas around uh, uh, research projects uh, emerged. Uh, the very first project uh, that was conducted uh, was applied on an uh, emirati family with a rare uh, skeletal abnormality. And the uh, researchers from the center at that time uh, tried to focus on the clinical assessment of that disease, as well as uh, to tackle the genetic causes for uh, the disease. This worked uh, out by, uh, by uh, you know, full genome scan and uh, assigning some hotspots uh, that are having high probability to contain some elements controlling that disease. The project went into uh, so many collaborations with laboratories in Europe and the States, and the uh, project is now in its uh, final phase. Another a point of importance that the center uh, gives uh, also attention to is the um, fact that we are lacking the presence of a reference genome map for the region. We all know that the Human Genome Organization conducted a um, 
wonderful job by printing or publishing the first genome uh, reference sequence in year 2003, followed by the HapMap project that tried to uh, look at the differences that make uh, that that can identify different populations of the world. In all these steps, Arab countries or Arab populations were missed out, and uh, lots of efforts to try to. Uh, localized genes for many common uh, complex disorders like diabetes or hypertension uh, fail to locate uh, in those genetic factors, most probably because of dependence on reference maps that are not uh, authentic uh, for, the, uh, for the region. And uh, since this is a communal effort that requires lots of uh, uh, investment, uh, manpower or money, it would be, uh, I mean, Forkax the best, um, uh, to be the best candidate to, you know, go into this field uh, because of the wide relationships we have with so many labs in the region. Uh, the center is privileged to have an Arab council in which there are 13 Arab countries uh, uh, represented. And members of that council are ready to uh, perform uh, either part or complete parts of this uh, project. And uh, this should be the um, immediate focus of the center. At the same time, uh, we started a small idea in 2006 to organize the Pan-Arab Human Genetics Conference. But soon after, we realized that uh, the, the region is in need for such a conference. So we insisted on organizing it every two years. And now it became a landmark. In, fi in fact, uh, in the story of this, uh, of this conference, we were very proud in 2011 to co-host it with the uh, Human Genome uh, Organization meeting here in Dubai. Uh, that, in fact, um, was a very important privilege. This is the first time such a renowned or, uh, organization uh, to meet in an Arab land or an Arab country. And we hope that this conference continues uh, with the same potential energy. Uh, of course, it's um, now going to take shape, probably in the future, to balance between the importance of the clinical as well as the genetic aspects. The conference is characterized but not by not being uh, totally you know, based on invitations of speakers, but rather on competition, on of abstracts, so that people can contribute, even young scientists, can be, uh, their research can be appreciated and can go in as oral or poster presentations. Um, some part of the activities in the center as well extend into publications. Uh, most of our publications are of academic or scientific nature. And uh, we would like the knowledge that we accumulate to also show to the uh, lay people. And that's why we also address them with uh, particular or uh, certain publications that are aimed at the uh, society or the community to just raise awareness because we believe that this is the most important um, criterion if you work on it hard uh, I guess uh, the, the solution for the problems of genetic disorders uh, much of it will be already available uh, and what about in the future what is CADS doing in the immediate future in the next couple of years well, uh, continuing on the updates of the database, that's a necessity. Even if we say that we have completed surveys in certain countries, uh, research is ongoing, and newer data are available, so this would be uh, you know, one of the uh, uh, maintenance tasks that CAGS has to, uh, has to focus on all the time. Uh, probably the genome uh, uh, map project will uh, take much of the near uh, future, in a couple of years, we'll have a reference uh, map, probably. And uh, this will open also doors to uh, variation studies. We, will, uh, we do believe that the uh, area, especially the Arabian Peninsula, was the second most inhabited land uh, in the uh, story of humanity or modern humans. And uh, we can see clues of this already from the limited amount of data that we have, from the large number of genes that are linked to disorders. Even at the clinical variability level, it's also superb. Um, at the gene level, uh, availability of novel uh, mutations or many rare mutations, though to be rare elsewhere, are so well established in here. Nothing of these is surprising us, really. 
And we definitely believe that uh, studying even normal variation is much more even amazing than the uh, study of uh, mutations related to disease. And this will keep probably scientists busy for at least five or more years to come.